In this video, my buddy Cheesebeard is reviewing the Windrider 3400 from Hyperlite Mountain Gear. Um, we've actually been sitting on this footage for a little while now because he was testing out a prototype of the pack. Um, so this review um, is with all of the updates that they've made for the 2018 pack. I'm Cheesebeard, I'm doing a review on Pi's channel of the updated Hyperlite Mountain Gear Windrider 3400. So the Windrider 3400, it's a 55 liter pack. It's made in either a 50 denier or 150 denier Dyneema uh, fabric. It costs $340 um, and it weighs in right at around two pounds. This is a fantastic through hiking pack. It's really good for backpacking. It's incredibly simple. Really, it's just one main big compartment and it's got a couple of these mesh pockets on the outside and then just two hip belt pockets. There's really not much more to the pack than that. Um, I really appreciate simplicity and this pack really gets that right. So just starting on the outside of the pack, these mesh pockets, um, I think they're fantastic. You can fit a ridiculous amount of gear inside of these little mesh bits. Uh, they do get snagged up and tear a little bit, but overall they hold really well. And uh, I've put over 2,700 miles on this pack now. And the worst hole I have is right here up at the top and it's not even that bad. Um, but yeah, really quick, easy access to anything you need on the outside. I like to keep my extra water capacity, maybe like a poop kit, and then I like to keep my rain jacket out there just for quick access. Uh, water bottle pockets, uh, same kind of deal, exact same material. Mine honestly didn't wear that badly. Um, they're so large, you can actually fit two one liter smart waters in here. Um, another thing I like to do is I would keep my 32 ounce uh, wide mouth bottle as long, along with a couple snacks. Uh, you can fit quite a few cliff bars in the bottom, really whatever you need. It does come with a little compression strap. Uh, I don't really use these that much. I usually keep them pretty loose just so my bottles don't uh, get stuck when I'm trying to reach behind to grab them. Um, yeah, honestly, I don't think this strap is super useful because this is such a strong material really your bottles don't ever fall out i've never had a problem with that uh, the hip belt pockets uh, they have been updated for 2018 uh, that was my biggest complaint with the old hyperlite pack but now these things are killer they're super big really easy to access you can pull anything out of here even with the pack on which was the main problem with the old ones is it was hard to get anything out of them because it was hard to even unzip them because they're so small um, I used to have a problem with being able to feel the whatever I had inside the hip belt pockets in the hip belt against my hip. But again, with the bigger pockets, that's no longer an issue. Yeah, they've updated the material for all the padding and the straps. It's a much softer material. It used to be a type of mesh that was a bit more abrasive. It would break in, but this new material is actually very soft and I had virtually no pack rub on the on my hips at all i just had a little bit of pack rub up on my shoulders but it was somewhere from the back bits of the uh, dyneema material uh, the bottom of the pack is a thicker denier um, dyneema uh, really helps when you put it down in something rough especially in the desert if you're putting it on top of spiky plants and things like that i've never had a puncture I have almost no wear in it. My only wear point is where my frame stays meet at the bottom. But again, 2,700 miles and it still is not worn through. And uh, it seems like they folded over the material here. So even like on the seams, it's doubly wide, incredibly strong. Um, another thing they've updated on the new pack is they've extended the ice axe loop. Uh, I had a real hard time with the old ice axe loop when you would loop your ice axe down and up on top it would tend to stick out at an angle and now with the extended ice axe loop no matter how much gear you stuff in here it's long enough that you can bring the ice axe up and wrap the handle in the top strap and yeah it's it's nice and flush with the pack doesn't really stick out at all um, it's really nice uh, up on the top here you do have this really nice compression strap. I like to strap little bits of gear on top here. I sometimes will do my rain pants. It's also great for a butt pad. Um, really what it's designed for is ropes if you're mountaineering or rock climbing. Um, this is a rope strap. 
But yeah, I find it really useful while backpacking for any gear I wanna keep quick access that's not gonna fit in my back pouch. On the back, you do have this nice handle uh, just for lifting. You never really wanna lift your pack from the shoulder straps. I kind of break that rule, uh, which just shows how strong this sewing is, is I've been grabbing this pack and flinging it up fully loaded with one strap and it does not have any wear. All the seams are really tight still. There's nothing that's been loosened up, no tears in any of them. Um, but yeah, this handle is convenient for that as well. I'm just kind of lazy about it. Uh, don't really grab it by there. Uh, the straps, they've got a bit of daisy chaining up on the front. Um, I did use a separate pouch to keep my cell phone in up on the front here. So you got lots of options if you wanna like add any accessories up on the front. I also switched out for a different type of sternum strap for a part of the trail to help hold a camera. Um, and it worked great for that. Never had any issues with it. Uh, yeah, the straps look very minimalist and they are, but they're actually quite comfortable. Whatever material they use in here doesn't really get squished down too hard. It's nice and like comfortable on your shoulders. Um, yeah, it held up incredibly well. Uh, just simple. Just pull, tightens down, nothing too much there. Um, hip straps, they do, after they are buckled, they do pull this way. I do wish that they had an option to pull the opposite way, put the, the cinching uh, mechanism on this side, but that's really not that big of a problem. Um, it's very comfortable overall. Uh, my only problem, I guess, that I have with the pack, or the only um, criticism I would have is I'm a really skinny guy. I have a very bony back and sometimes if the pack is fully loaded and very heavy, um, I can feel the frame stays in my lower back, which you can actually see the wear points. That is exactly where I was feeling it. But they have updated the frame stays system, which I'll show you in a second and the new frame stays are excellent. One problem I do have uh, with Hyperlight is their sizing. Seems to be a bit off for me personally. Uh, I measured directly into a medium uh, frame pack and once I got it, I actually am a large frame pack, but they're actually really good at exchanging that. You just contact them if you got the wrong size, they'll switch it out like that for you. So the way this thing packs up, uh, pretty simple. You got your uh, top strap for a rope or whatever accessory, unbuckle that. And then you have two buckles on the side to really help cinch the pack down. And then it's a roll top bag. So you unroll and then it's lined with Velcro across the top. So you actually have two options. You can either clip it down the sides or you can roll top it. Make sure you get all the air out. And then you can clip the top to itself. So you do have two options there. You've got the roll top on the top with the two buckles, or you can have the cinch straps down here on the side. So if you really do have a lot of gear, you can really compress this thing. Um, you also have compression straps here on the side to really cinch this thing all the way down. I personally don't use these very much. I kind of like to keep the pack wide open, but you do have that option. Um, they, they work fairly well. Yeah, so let's go inside the pack now. This pack is highly water resistant because it is uh, Dyneema material. Um, after a while, I did get some moisture on the inside of my pack when it rained pretty hard, but I just back it, all my soft stuff up with a pack liner. So I would suggest continue doing that. Another thing they updated for the 2018 is the frame stays. Um, it's gonna be near impossible to show you this, so I'll just describe it, but um, the frame stay tubes used to be sewn all the way down and into the hip belt. Um, and the problem I had with that is I ended up having it actually wear through on my pack last year and I had the frames pop out the bottom. The new frame stays are sewn all the way to about here. And at this point they're free floating so that there's more play. There's more room for them to move freely. And because of that, I feel the frame stays less and it also allows um, there to be less friction against the pack. So less likely for you to bust any holes through. Um, the frame stays themselves are very simple. They're a bent aluminum uh, frame stay. So you have a flat part that runs along your lumbar and your celiac crest, and then up to a point on your back. There's nothing else in there. It's just one giant tube pretty much. Uh, you can fit a ton into this pack, very roomy. I've never had an issue. I've carried up to 
I think like six or seven days worth of food and winter gear along with it and I still have room in this pack. I think it's a near perfect pack. Uh, again, my only complaint that I would have with it is I can feel the frame stays in my back, but that's only because I'm a really skinny guy, really bony. That's it for my review of the updated Windrider 3400. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and please just hit like for me. Go ahead and subscribe. Uh, if you want to see more products by Hyperlite, check out their website at hyperlightmountaingear.com. Um, if you're interested in following some of my photography, you can follow me on Instagram at, at cheesebeard underscore hikes. Thanks again.